Hello, my name is Dan Shimmerhorn, and I'm going to show you how to take Visual Basic Code and copy it and paste it in to make it a new macro. The easiest way to do this is from your Options section. Go to the File tab, click on Options, and go to the Customize ribbon. Here you'll find that there's a Developer tab that is not highlighted or not visible. Put a check mark in there and you'll be able to add the developer tab. Now if you're in 2007 you can't customize the ribbon because it's not customizable but in 2007 you'll go to the general category and you'll see an additional checkbox here that says enable the developer tab. Check it there and then click OK. Once you've activated the developer tab go ahead and click on the developer tab and you'll see a lot of tools that can be used to help you make macros including the Visual Basic Editor which is the very first one in the code group. You can also use Alt F11 as the keyboard shortcut. If you open up the Visual Basic Editor you're going to see typically a blank screen. If you don't see a blank screen you can go to Insert Module and insert a brand new module. Once you have this blank screen, it's just a matter of copy and paste with no Visual Basic knowledge. So I'm going to go over to my Visual Basic Code and I'm going to highlight all the Visual Basic Code, copy by right clicking and hitting copy or control C. Then I'm going to go back to Microsoft Excel in my Visual Basic Editor and I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit paste. The code will be pasted in there and all you have to do now is hit the save button. So I'm going to hit the save button and it's going to let me save it. I can then close the Visual Basic Editor by Xing out and I'll be back in my example workbook. Down here along the bottom you see I've named my worksheets just different letters and I want to alphabetize them. I don't want to have to drag and drop them so the easiest way to do that is either from the developers tab you can click on the macros or you can go to the view tab and click on macros. Once you do that you're going to find your sort workbook macro in the macro list. Highlight it and click run. It's going to ask you do you want to sort the sheets in ascending order? Clicking no will sort the sheets in descending order. So as you can see, Z is the very first one. So I want to put them in alphabetical order in ascending order. So I'm going to click yes. When I do that, you'll notice that now A, ABC, H, T, V, and X, Y, Z, and Z are now all sorted. If I want to reverse that order, I'm going to go back up to my macro. I'm going to click on sort the workbook and I'm going to run it again and then I'm going to say no this time. When I hit no, it's in reverse order. Z, X, Y, Z, V, T, H, A, B, C, and A. And there you have it. That's how you can take Visual Basic Code and add it in as a macro. Now, if you know how to make a button, then you can always create a button, and anytime you want to sort your worksheets in alphabetical order, it's there for you to use. I hope you like this tip. Again, my name is Dan Shemmerhorn with Help Coach Me Incorporated.